Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a full moon reading. I believe it is around, I think it is February 9th. Just hold on a second. February 9th, yes. It is, it's at February 9th. So, we are going to do a full moon reading for February 9th. We're going to start with one of these, and then we will use that deck right there. What do we have for the full moon, February 9th? What kind of message do I need to deliver for February 9th, 2020? Home. Home. It's all about home. There's no place like home. Right? There is no place like home. Somebody may be going home. All right? They may be going home, deciding it's time to go home. All right? Something to do with home. Where is home? What what feels like home? Okay? Somebody may be focusing on their home, thinking about their home, or deciding to go home. All right? It's all about home. February 9th. We definitely have somebody. We have somebody that's really sad. This person is sad. They're emotionally disappointed, and you know, it's like I just want to go home. I, it's time for me to go home. I want to go home. So something about home. Five of Cups reversed. There's a painful separation, right? There's been a separation. There's been a loss. Uh, probably a relationship, a breakup, or something in the past. Okay, somebody's been focusing on the past, but the Five of Cups reversed is uh, letting go of the past and moving forward. It's time to focus on the future, and maybe you know this person is has is obviously thinking, obviously thinking about you know what their next step is. I mean, very much this person is reading something, looks is looking down looking distraught, not sure if where, where they're at is where they're supposed to be. Um, definitely been in a state of mourning, okay, with the Five of Cups. They've been mourning, they've mourning, they've been sad, right? Um, they've been grieving, uh, maybe blaming. There's been a deep depression going on, okay? Um, but, and maybe it's been prolonged. Maybe there's been some prolonged grief, but it's like now it's time to focus on the future. So I think we have somebody that has been given a lot of thought to, you know, whatever it is that they've been hanging on to. And they're probably really thinking, you know, I think it's time to go home. I do. I think it is time to go home to uh, maybe to their parents or their hometown or, you know, home could be many different things. Maybe it's find a new home. This isn't my home. It's time for me to find a real home, something that's mine. That could be the case. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now, this is somebody who did not take any advice, obviously. They didn't take any advice. They um, are probably going to be experiences, experiencing a setback or they have experienced a setback. Um, they've repeated the same patterns over and over and over again. Doesn't take advice from anybody. Probably not very spiritual, not very awakened. Um, doesn't believe, doesn't believe in a higher power, doesn't believe in karma, whatever. There's a lot of people out there that don't, that don't believe in karma, that don't believe in destiny, that don't believe what goes around comes around. And, you know, this is a disbeliever here. And I feel like this disbeliever is going to be going backwards. They keep repeating their old mistakes. And the old mistakes may be coming back to haunt them because what you resist persists. Now, the Wheel of Fortune Reverse can also be an... Un See, here, some, this person is predicting this person's future. This is unpredictable, okay? This is a shocking, unpredictable horrendous loss and I don't care if you like me but that is what this is you know somebody may be experiencing a horrendous loss something that was totally unpredictable because they refuse to listen they refuse to believe or they refuse to open their eyes or they refuse to 
let go of the past. Seriously, with these two cards right here, there is somebody that has been holding on to the past. They've been grieving over the past. They, they, they have been reluctant to move on. This is somebody almost like that, that is obsessed, okay? So we have somebody who's clinging to control. They are absolutely stuck. They're stuck. They've been stuck in the past. They have. That's where they've been. Queen of Swords reversed. We have somebody here that is hard to love. The Queen of Swords reversed is, is bitter. Very, very bitter. Very, very, uh, you know, this could be a uh, wicked stepmother. This could be a, an, a, a wicked individual, somebody that is nasty, revengeful, uh, malicious, very malicious, like, like very, very, very malicious. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. Somebody that is not truthful, not honest. This is somebody that is dishonest. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. Thinks that they can manipulate. Thinks that they can do whatever they want. This person does. Very hard and uncaring. We have a very hard and uncaring person here. Very hard. <laughs> Death. And death reversed can be even worse than death upright. I mean, it can be, it doesn't have to, could be, could go either way. But this is a disaster. There's been some sort of delay. Somebody has been held back by fear. And pride. And pride. Somebody has been held back by fear. It's like they got a they got a shock to their ego, and you know it's hard. It's hard when when you, you know, lose somebody, and you have to let them go, whether you like it or not. So I think that we have somebody here that has experienced an ending, and they've been holding on to it, and they've been grieving over it for way too long. I mean, and there's no timeline for grief, really. There's not so. And I, and I know this, so I can't say way too long, but it feels like that's what this is. It's it's time to move on, and that is way easier said than done. And I don't want to hear anybody say, Jennifer, you don't know, because Jennifer does know. Okay? Jennifer has buried a child, so don't tell me I don't know. A live child. So do not tell me that I don't know. It takes a long time to grieve. So I think we have somebody here that has, but that's been years for me, just so you know, like 26 years. So yes, I know all about time. But anyhow, we have somebody here that has been grieving. It hasn't been 26 years, it's been 24 years. It's been 24 years. Anyhow, I just had to clear that up. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that has been grieving and... um they just can't get over it. They can't get over some something that has ended. Yeah, they can't. They haven't been able to. And this doesn't have to be an actual death. I was only explaining that because I, I will get people that comment, okay? They will say something stupid like, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I do. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that has in, been in some sort of pain. And they've experienced some sort of ending. And they've been holding on to this ending. And, and and it's like they're resisting change. It's like this happened for a reason. And I know that it takes time to realize that, but it's the truth. Everything happens for a reason. You know, when something ends, there's a, there's a, because you have a new life, there's something else you are meant to do. So I think we have somebody there that, that, that is, is very, you know, um, unable this person is un has been unable to let go of something that has already died they have been and, and it's caused a lot of bitterness it's caused a lot of anger it's caused a lot of internal upset within them eight of wands now this eight of eight of wands is moving forward 
Okay, somebody is definitely going to be moving forward. It's like they're ready. They're finally ready. And maybe they're ready. Why are they ready? Let's see. Why are they ready? Why are they finally ready to move on? Why is this person finally ready to move on? Because they're so lonely. Because they're so lonely. They, 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 they can't take it anymore. This is too much. They're feeling so empty inside. They're feeling so dead inside. It's like... They just... need some friends, right? They need some friends. They need some attention. They need to come out of hiding. They need to socialize. It feels like we have somebody here that has been in a dead end situation. They've been holding on to it. This dead end situation. Um, maybe because of fear, fear of rejection from the next one, protect self protection. Perhaps this person has been hurt very badly. The queen of swords. In reverse. This is somebody who has been hurt so badly. Okay. So yes, we have somebody here that, that has shut themselves off emotionally because they have been hurt so badly. But now they are ready to come out of hiding. So somebody is ready to come out of hiding and reconnect. It's like they're ready. They are definitely ready. They've been in a state of sadness. They have been. And it feels like they've gotten some sort of enlightenment. You know, while they were, you know, they, they've they taken some time alone to heal. They have. And it's it's been a period of time, obviously. It's been a period of, of healing. And it's like now they're ready. They're ready to uh, live again or something like that. Strength reverse. We could be dealing with Leo. Could be this is Leo, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Scorpio here. We have Virgo. This is weak. The strength reversed is weak. Poor health. We have a this is somebody this is weak. This is poor health. This is clinging to control. We have somebody here that has been clinging to control. But this is, uh, we have somebody that is in a deep freaking depression right here. Deep depression. Lack of respect for others as well. We have a very cold, uncaring person. This is very cold and uncaring. And this is like a, a, and this person is cold and uncaring because they have been hurt so badly. This strength card reversed. This is somebody that is very, very weak, very, very ill. Controlling, overly controlling. King of Pentacles reversed. Malicious. We have somebody that does th thinks that they are above the law. We do have somebody here that thinks that they are above the law. They think that they can get away with whatever they what they want. They think they can do whatever they want. We have somebody here that is unstable. They're insecure, and maybe this is a relationship. Maybe these people were in some sort of relationship. It's very unstable. This person doesn't work or they can't. So there's one person here that doesn't follow through, doesn't work, isn't stable, isn't ever going to change. This person is weak and vulnerable and lazy and selfish and controlling. Then we have this bitch over here. So we, we, have, we have a few people here. And this could be the stepmother or the mother-in-law or... You know, the whoever, the ex, the queen of swords could be the ex. It's like we have, we have a bunch of players here. And it's like, this isn't going to work out. It's not going to work out. All these are in reverse. There's, there's too much uh, animosity or there's too much disconnection or there's too much uh, friction. Okay, there's too much friction here. 
somebody's leaving with this eight of eight of uh, wands. It's, it is the eight of wands. You know, this person is leaving. Somebody is leaving. It's almost like we're dealing with a joker. It feels like I got a joker here. It feels like we have somebody here that is leaving behind this mess because this is absolutely a mess. I'm ready. I'm ready to reconnect. I'm I, and this is this is definitely coming out of hiding. This is like a near death experience, okay? It is. We have basically what we have death twice. This is like death, okay? Remembering that everything dies. Everything does die. So we have a, somebody here that has been reluctant to let go of something that has died. It's dead. And I and don't feel, think I'm not being compassionate, okay? It's not, it, it, it is what it is. It's a fact of life. It's a painful truth. If it's over, it's over. There's nothing you can do but to pick yourself up and hold your head up high and face forward and start over. The worst is over. Page of Swords reversed. There is somebody here that doesn't want to accept the truth. There is somebody that lies. This is somebody that, um, I mean, this is bad news. This is definitely bad news. This is somebody that may, this is a message and this is bad news. Be delivering some sort of message that is not good news. I, somebody, you know, you know, we have a horrendous loss here, and there could be some mourning that come, is coming about. Somebody could be going home, and home could be heaven or hell. Just saying. Just saying. It could be home to your parents. It could be home. Somebody's going home. Because where they've been, there's no... Success. There's no compatibility. There's no more reward. So I feel during this full moon, somebody is moving forward. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But I think that they are being called to do so. And I think that they're being called to do so because things have been going, this is bad luck and setbacks over and over and over again, like I said in one of my other readings. They're experiencing a lot of setbacks in their lives because it's like the universe is saying it's time. Everything happens for a purpose. Release, release, release. But somebody has been reluctant to release, release release. So I feel like this is a time where somebody decides to release. I think that somebody is going to uh, be headed in a new direction. And it's like they're leaving behind a, it's where they used to live, okay? It's like a town or it is because it, the hermit is in a is in a, 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 a specific place okay and this is moving away from a specific place somebody may be actually moving it's like really moving to a different area okay so that's that could certainly be on the table here um, we have somebody here that is uh, very disloyal they are cowardly we have a coward, disloyal, uh, malicious individual here that has been hiding who they really are or something like that, but perhaps there's been some sort of 
investigation because the page of swords is here there's been some sort of observation somebody has been watching and maybe that's somebody from above i don't know somebody has definitely been watching this whole thing they have been watching this whole thing this is not realistic this is not practical this is not even real Somebody needs to find their strength and confidence and willpower and discipline. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger to release this dead situation. Somebody may be experiencing a horrendous loss right around this time and it could actually be a death. Because somebody just decides that they don't want to do this anymore, that it is time to go home. Somebody is going home. Yeah, so, I mean... Get ready to receive a message that you don't want to hear. Okay. I, that's what I got to say. Right here. These cards are here. Get ready to receive a message that you don't want to hear. Or to deliver the message. You could be the delivery. We have a conflict. Okay. A conflict of interest here between parties. And uh, somebody... is going in a different direction, okay? They absolutely are. There's going to be messages. There's going to be messages going back and forth, and they're not good messages. They're not. They're not good messages. This is a big loss. It is definitely a big loss. It's, it's, it's like... It's sad. There's some sort of sadness around this. There is definitely some sort of sadness. And anger as well. Somebody's been angry and somebody may be angry. And that's part of the grieving process is anger. It is definitely part of the grieving process. But we also have somebody that is, is in poor health. We do have somebody that is in poor health. And this person, um, maybe they go to rehab. Maybe they do go to rehab. You know, they get sent to rehab. Something could happen and they get sent to rehab. Uh, maybe they experience a near death experience, a near death incident. Okay, that could certainly be the case. There's definitely been a deep depression, and I think whatever, whatever is going on, it's it's time to go home. It is definitely time to go home. Um. Yeah. So I, I'm sorry that this is such a, a dark reading, but it is what it is. Somebody needs time to heal. They need time to heal. And I mean really, really, really heal. And it, and I'm not talking for one month. I'm talking like nine months. It's like nine month time out. So I think that, that somebody's past mistakes may be coming back to haunt them. There, or there could be a setback because they receive some sort of news that uh, somebody is either leaving them. And this could be karma, okay? The Wheel of Fortune reversed could be bad karma. You know, it definitely could be. Somebody could be receiving some karma for their wicked ways. Okay, we got wicked ways here. We definitely do got cowardly acts, selfishness. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we got somebody, materialism here, uh, lying. Uh, somebody thinks that they're above the law. They can get away with whatever they think they can get away with. Okay, so there definitely could be some karma that is playing out. And it causes, you know somebody to go home and however home resonates for you uh somebody's going home good luck <laughs>